Hello everyone. So last class we were discussing about the basic introduction of genetics, the few theories, and today I will discuss a few terminologies which is very essential to dis uh, to go into the depth of the chapter. Okay. So the first term is gene. Gene. The word was termed by the same person who termed genetics, William Johnson. So the word gene was termed, termed by William Johnson. <coughs> what is gene? So by definition, genes are the factors or units of inheritance which passes from one generation to the next generation through gametes and controls the expression of a particular trait. So last class I discussed the def, uh, like the difference between a character and a trait. For example, if stem is uh, height is the character, then dwarf and tallness will be the two traits of the character. So term gene was termed by William Johnson, the same scientist, uh, the same person who termed the word genetics. So genes are the factors or units of inheritance as termed by Mendel which passes from one generation to the next generation through gametes. They pass through gametes and they control the expression of a particular trait. Okay, From the definition itself like they are the particles, they are the units which is responsible for inheritance. They pass from one generation to the next generation. Okay and they are responsible for controlling a particular trait. So this is the definition found in your NCRT book. So let's <coughs> see in details what is gene. So basically whenever we view a cell inside the cell we find nucleus when we go into the depth of the nucleus we will see certain chromatid materials arranged around it okay the chromatid materials during cell division arrange in form of chromosomes these chromosomes consist of particular dna sequences okay The chromosomes are composed of DNA plus proteins. So every cell consists of nucleus. When we go look inside the nucleus, there are chromatin materials which arrange itself into chromosomes during cell division. Every chromosome is composed of DNA plus proteins.
each DNA consists of a specific sequence which is responsible for synthesis of a particular protein and this protein is responsible for the specific trait so chromosomes are composed of dna and proteins and inside every dna there are particular sequence and we will discuss details of dna in the next chapter for time being keep in mind the points i am telling you so every dna consists of specific sequence that synthesize the protein and that specific protein will be responsible for the specific trait so there are number of genes present in dna okay so this will be a specific gene suppose it is responsible for a specific trait that is eye color so the specific the sequence of dna responsible for a particular trait is known as gene so chemically a gene can be described as a segment of dna is it clear what is gene so chemically we can define gene as a segment of dna so hope this is clear and there are number of traits in a organism suppose hair color eye color so there are number of genes in a dna lot number of genes so what are the basis of heredity firstly there are two basis of heredity first one is physical basis of heredity so mendel announced that in 1866 that heredity was controlled that heredity was controlled by particles called factors or germinal units which are present in all the cells of the organism body so physical basis of heredity mendel announced that in 1866 that heredity was controlled by particles called factors or germinal units which are present in both somatic and somatic and other cells of the all over the body okay so the physical basis of inheritance is genes or the 
factors so whenever you will be asked what are the physical base of inheritance it will be the genes or the factors since mendel announced that the heredity was controlled by the particles called factors or germinal units which are present in all the cells of the body okay then what is the there are two bases of inheritance uh, sorry heredity physical and chemical so coming to the chemical basis of heredity chemical base of heredity the genes which are the physical base of heredity are passed from one generation to the next or from parent cell to the as components of chromosome and we already know chromosomes are made up of DNA plus protein. So, chemical base of heredity states that genes are passed from one generation to the next, or from parent cells to its daughter, as components of chromosomes. So, genes are passed as a components of chromosomes, and we know that chromosomes are made up of DNA plus protein. and so we can conclude that dna forms the chemical basis of heredity the physical basis of heredity are the genes or the factors and the chemical basis of heredity is the dna okay so these are the two points <laughs> you have to keep in mind physical base of heredity and chemical basis of heredity now the next point is you have often countered the word allele allele or allelomorphs in this chapter so the term allele or allelomorphs was given by batson so the term allele or allelomorphs was given by batson coming to the definition allele can be defined as the two mendelian factors which occur on the same locus i am coming to the point what is locus in the two homologous chromosome i am also coming to the point homologous chromosome of an individual
and controls the expression of a character are termed as allele or allelomorphs. So, the two Mendelian factors, water factors we have already discussed which occur on the same locus or in the two homologous chromosome. So, I will discuss now what is homologous chromosome of an individual and controls the expression of a character are termed as allele. So, basically what is a homologous chromosome? An offspring inherits one chromosome from maternal side and another from paternal side. Okay. So, let us suppose this is the paternal chromosome. So, let us assume this is the paternal chromosome and there is a maternal chromosome. Paternal, sorry, this is the paternal chromatid and this is the maternal. Homologous chromosome are basically are the pair of chromosomes with the same gene sequence the so, chromosomes having the same gene sequence same loci and chromosomal length Centromere location. Basically, let me assume this to be a centromere. are called homologous chromosome. Homologous chromosomes are the chromosomes with the same gene sequence, same loci, same chromosomal length and same centromere location. So, one homologous chromosomes are formed during meiosis when uh, like one, one chromatid comes from the paternal side and another comes from the maternal side. Okay. So, basically Suppose this is a pair of homologous chromosome. Okay. So, there will be a particular allele 
in this specific loci okay alleles are present on the same locus this as a whole is a locus and this is an allele suppose this is an allele for white flower and this is another allele for pink flower so both the allele are for the gene flower color so both are for the same but they are for different alleles one is for white flower another is for pink flower okay both will be present on the same locus so alleles are the mendelian factors which occur on the same locus so here they are present on the same locus same locus same position on the chromosomes on the pair on a pair of homologous chromosome so two mendelian factors which occur on the same locus in the two homologous chromosome these are the pair of homologous chromosome of an individual and controls the expression of a character they are controlling the expression of the character that is flower color are termed allele so hope from the definition and diagram this is clear so the two mendelian factors which occur on the same locus in the two homologous chromosomes of an individual and controls the expression of a character are termed as allele or simply we can say genes that code for a pair of contrasting traits are called allele so these are the pair of contrasting trait one is for white color and another is for pink color so simply we can say that genes that code for a pair of contrasting traits are called alleles okay hope the word allele is clear suppose in case of p uh, sorry p pisum sativum example in case of p plant height you are taking the height t stands for tall trait and small t stands for dwarf trait so in case of pea plant capital t stands for tall trait and small t stands for dwarf trait the the alleles so the alleles of the pea plant will be tt capital t small t and small t small t in case of pea plant suppose we are taking height capital t stands for tall trait and small t stands for dwarf trait so the alleles of the pea plant will be capital t 
कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ डायग्राम नाउ सो दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड इट बेटर pair of homologous chromosome one is inherited from male parent and other from female parent so this is a pair of homologous chromosome one is inherited from male parent and the other from female parent paternal and maternal this will be a specific locus a genetic locus is the location of a particular gene of a chromosome the locus simply defines the location of a particular gene in a chromosome okay so this locus there will be a specific gene so now we will discuss there we will be an allele suppose there will be t t next locus there will be capital t small t and the next locus there will be small t small t okay so this particular pair of allele t t is homozygous since they are similar dominant i will explain later what is dominant and recessive next capital t small t will be this as a whole this as a whole capital t small t will be hetero since they are not similar heterozygous capital small t small t will be homozygous recessive and the three pairs indicate 
and the three of them indicate three gene pairs at three different locus. So, this is a pair of homologous chromosome in which one of the pair, one, pair, uh, one chromosome is inherited from paternal side and the other is inherited from maternal side. In this chromosome, there is particular region of the chromosome which, which, is, uh, which gives location of a particular gene is known as locus. Okay. So, so bilak locus hote ki thiki ba belak belak gene or kind particular alleles thiki ba. So, a two locus it as a alleles capital T capital T. So, he to kami kam homozygous dominant. A two locus it as a capital T small t. So, he to kami kam heterozygous since both the letters are not same. Both are not capital. Okay. And yate next to size a homozygous recessive. So, my recessive or dominant uh, like ito my next part of bujaya so ki hoi. Aru e tini takami ki ko paparu. Three gene pairs at three different locus. So, I think so ekhini pra to malakar clear ho was a locus uh, like allele aru gene or mazat ki hoi difference. Okay. Still doubt takile you can just ask me in WhatsApp. So, in the next part, we will study about what is dominant and what is recessive. Terminology is dominant allele and recessive allele. So dominant allele means ki hoy? Kore dominant to ki kore? Generally sabo gale dominant to ki kore? Recessive to ki kore? Mask kore rakhe, hidden kore rakhe. Tika sir? Dominant kore rakhe. To jodiu dominant allele to ki hoy? Kore recessive to suppress kore rakhe bo. Recessive to presence hot ki kore? Dominate kori ba. Recessive to express na hoi. Okay. Dominant allele bila e bila allele hoi. Chune hodai. In presence of other allele. Contrasting allele to thakar pisa to. It will dominate kori rakhe. Okay. So. Dominant allele. The allele. Which. Always. Expresses. itself even in presence of a contrasting allen is known as Dominant allele. So, G2 allele is dominant express in presence of an another contrasting allele is known as dominant allele. A recessive allele is known as dominant allele. Jarak express in presence of a dominant allele. The allele which fails to express itself 
in presence of a contrasting is known as recessive allele suppose ami example lolu t aru t capital t aru small t thik ase to yate ki hobo capital t aru jete small t thake suppose this indicates tall and this is the allele for dwarf kintu jetia कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी एक लोगे थके इट इंडिकेट्स एज अ होल टॉल तो यार पड़ा कैपिटल टी तुक आमी कब पड़ो इट इज अ डोमिनेंट एलिल बिकॉज़ हेटुर प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्मॉल टी तो हिडन हो गई से तो स्मॉल टी तो हो बा मर रेसिसिव एलिल तो सपोज we have capital t for tall and small t for dwarf when they are together expression hobo tall to yate ki hobo to yate ami kobo paru capital t is the dominant allele since it is suppressing small t karon yate small t dwarf character to ulai dwarf to ulai aha nai yate ami tall paisu okay to tall trait to paisu dwarf trait to एक्सप्रेस हुआ ना ये तो हिडन हुए हैं से, सो ही कारण है मैं कब बोलूँ कैपिटल टी इज़ द डोमिनेंट एलिल एंड स्मॉल टी इज़ द रेसिसिव एलिल, ओके? Next hole, wild allele. Next term to hole, wild allele. So what is wild allele? Eta paba wild allele, eta paba mutant allele. Thikha se, wild alleles is the one originally present in a population so wild alleles is the one allele which is originally present in the population it is dominant and it is widespread So wild alleles are the originally present alleles in a population. They are dominant and widespread. Mutant to ki hobo? Mutant to jana hai. Mutant bane changes na? Mutation hua, change hua. Mutant alleles bila khobo? Jitya wild allele lot mutant hoi jai. Mutation hoi jai. Jitya aami hai to allele lot mutant allele bili ko. Mutant allele is formed by mutation of wild allele. तो जेती है wild allele और mutation हो जाए है तो कमी mutant allele बोली कहो and है तो की है generally recessive है is less common in a population so allele type of dominant recessive 
wild mutant. So, wild allele, mutant allele, wild allele will be like originally the population of the dominant or widespread. Mutant allele will be like they are formed by mutation, they are recessive and they are less common in a population. Next concept is about homozygote and heterozygote. So, all of the chromosomes are diagrammed to the homologous chromosome. Parrot, it is coed still. So, term homozygote. This term was all introduced by Batteson and Sounder. Homozygote to Batteson or Sounder introduced Corisil, or heterozygote to Batteson or Sounder introduced Corisil. It is the individual. Wait. identical alleles so homozygote organisms are the organisms which consist of identical alleles suppose capital T capital T so it will go homozygote small t small t it will come go homozygote but jitya capital T small t thakibo in a pair of alleles he took a me come heterozygote hetero simply means different homo money same take a set to a duta hobo homozygote aru a to hobo heterozygote definition notes of my didim a press i love This is homozygote and it is heterozygote simply. Data term homozygote and heterozygote was given by Batson and Sounder. Homozygote individuals are the individuals with identical alleles and heterozygote are with non-identical alleles. आरोहिता कथा था कि कुल ये तो हमें की कोई सिलो कैपिटल टी तो की कोई सिलो इन केस ऑफ हाइट जो दे धोड़ा जाए कैपिटल टी तो हमें डोमिनेंट था के आरो स्मॉल टी तो की था के रेसिसिव था के तो ये तो कमी को होमोसाइगोट डोमिनेंट आरो ए तो कमी कम होमोजाइगट रेसिसिव एग्जांपल जो दिया मैं हाइट लो ओके हाइट और कैपिटल टी इज डोमिनेंट स्मॉल टी इज रेसिसिव ओके इतना वाले जितने दूसरा एलिल्स एक अलग है थकी बहुत कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी तो इतना हमें हिंदू कम होमोजाइगुट डोमिनेंट और स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी थकी ले होमोजाइगुट रेसिसिव नेक्स्ट वी विल लर्न व्हाट इज एफ वन जेनरेशन
F1 generation. It is the first filial generation. F1 first filial generation. of hybrid offsprings produce in a genetic cross between two genetically different but pure parents so it is the first filial generation of hybrid offsprings produced in a genetic cross between two genetically different parents ke taar genetically different hoba but pure parents hoba suppose I will cross between capital T to yate ki hoba these are genetically different but pure parents tika se itu homozygous pure homozygous hoi aru itu pure homozygous hoi ok so, you have to cross correlate. What we will find? We will find capital T, small t. Okay? And this will be, don't worry, I will first terminology. I will tell you the episode. I will tell you the Produce hoy, he to come come F1 generation. Duta pure parents genetically different, but pure parents of Jitiami cross korim. Titia jitu outcome pump. He to come come F1 generation. Cross ma hikadim next class or don't worry. To just Zanilwa F1 kakoi, F2 kakoi. Tika se, e to hoy F1 generation. Genetically different, pure parents of Ami cross korilu. Jitu outcome pump, he to come come F1 generation. F2 mane ki hobo, jeti ami F1 generation or jitu outcome asil, he hotok self crossing korim, he hotra majot, okay? Jeti a F1 or jitu outcome asil, like capital T small t, ami jeti a cross korim. This is a F1 generation na. F1 generation of Jitu Paiso, Hetu Jitiami self crossing Gorim, Titiami Jitu outcome pump, Hetu Kami com F2 generation. Okay, so Yate Kiki pump saba T and T will give capital T, capital T. Capital T and small t will give this one, this one and this one will give T, T. Aru etu aru? Yeah, etu aru etu dibo. So, this is the outcome of F2 generation. So, F1 generation of jitya me pure genetically different but pure parents of breed koro. Jitya me jitu outcome hai etu ka me ko F1 generation. Aru jitya F1 or outcome to F1 or jitu outcome hai etu ame self crossing koro. Like capital T small t into capital T small t. Jitya jikhi ne outcome hai etu ka me ko F2 generation. Is it clear? So, I will conclude the terminologies in the next class. So, I will cross the terminologies. So, terminologies, if you have doubt, you can ask me in WhatsApp group. That's it. Okay, thank you.